For this demo, we're going to look and see how easy it is to enable rights management and show you a demo of what it looks like for an end user to protect a document. As you can see, I'm logged into the classic Azure portal and I've selected Active Directory on the left hand side. Here I see the name of my directory. You'll notice at the top I've got tabs, directory, access control namespaces, multi-factor authentication providers, and rights management. So let's click on rights management. Once we click on rights management, we'll see the name of my domain. And you'll notice that my rights management status is already active. I can deactivate by selecting this checkbox down here. Or if I haven't activated my rights management yet, simply clicking on activate down here will allow us to activate rights management for my namespace. Once we click in here, here's a list of templates that are available to my end users to be able to deploy their files. Some of these are default, some I've created as a result of doing this demo. So now that we've seen how easy it is to actually implement these types of uh, rights management protections. Let's look at a real world example of what this could look like. So I've created this demo document, which I have just named RMS demo and have stored it on the desktop of the computer that I'm presenting from. It's just some random words. So let's say that I wanted to share this with somebody. You'll notice I have the RMS share protected option right here. So let's click here and to share it. And you'll notice that the RMS application says, okay, what user do you want to share this with? So for this example, we're going to share our document with Isaiah. So we'll type Isaiah's name into the user box and we're going to give Isaiah viewer view only permissions. I want Isaiah to be able to view the attachments, but I don't want them to be able to print, edit, or copy content. I definitely don't want to give them reviewer permissions because that would give view and edit permissions. Co-author permissions, another one, would give view, edit, copy, and print. And co-owner would, would give all the permissions that are available. So we'll stick with viewer view only this time. You'll notice I have an option to expire these documents and we'll just select the date that's already populated for us. Uh, I have the option to have it email me anytime someone tries to open these documents. And then finally, I have the option to allow me to instantly revoke access to these documents. Now, the plus side to selecting this checkbox is every time the user goes to open this document that we're sharing it with, it's going to check with Azure Rights Management Protection Services and determine if they still have the license and the ability to open this document. If you don't select this checkbox, they could potentially open this document for up to 30 days before it checks back in again to determine if its license is still valid. If you do select this checkbox, keep in mind that the user must have internet access whenever they open the document. So for our purposes, we'll leave this unchecked, but those are the ups and downs of selecting allow me to instantly revoke access. So I'm gonna click on send. You'll notice the RMS app is now protecting my document. Now that my document is protected, it's generated an email for me, letting this user know that I've securely shared a file with them. So we'll just type in, have a look, and send it off to Isaiah. We're now gonna to switch to my iPad so that we can open up the document that I just sent to Isaiah. So I'm logged in here as Isaiah, as you can see. And I see an email from me that says that the file has securely been shared. When I click on this email, what you'll notice is that there are two files attached to this email. There's the rmsdemo.doc, and then there's the rmsdemo.doc.ppdf. If you're opening this on a device that doesn't natively support an application that will open up a rights protected document, you can always open up the ppdf file with the rights management application that can be downloaded from the Windows Store, the Android Store, or the iOS Store. Now, because I'm doing this from my iPad, I cannot open up the RMS demo file directly from here. I could save the document to my OneDrive and open it from there. But what I think is easier in this scenario, because I already have the RMS sharing app installed, is we're going to open up this RMS demo PPDF document. So you notice I have the option to open this in the AIP viewer, which is what we now call the Azure Information Protection Viewer used to be known as the RMS sharing app. So we'll open this in the AIP viewer. It'll launch Azure Information Protection Viewer. And then we type in our username. In this case, I've saved it. Then we type in our password. And sign in. Azure Information Protection will now process the file validate that I was in fact the intended recipient and open the document for me. And just like that, I've been able to share out a document with rights management protection. Now up here in the top right corner, if I click on this checkbox, you'll notice that it tells me what my permissions are. 
It tells me restricted access permissions. It's currently restricted. Only specific users can access the content and all the permissions I have are view. If I wanted additional permissions, I could request additional permissions from the owner. But for this case, all I have is view permissions. So my document is secure. And now we can actually go in and track to see who has even opened this document. Now, because the document I just shared out as a demo file and it's only been opened the one time, the data isn't really useful. So what I wanna show you is actual data from another document that has been shared out. In this case, this document was called codeblue.docx. So this is the summary page that RMS exposes to us. I can see that it was shared out in this case on April 23rd of 2015. The content would have expired on June 21st of 2016. And there's been 40 views by 13 distinct users. There's been nine denied access attempts, all coming from one user. And as you can see, that user is listed right here, Brian Swan. So let's see if we can get some more information about this. Let's take a look at the map view. When I look at the map view, it gives me an easy way to see where the access request came from and where it was denied. So the green shows where access was requested and granted and viewed, and the orange shows where it was denied. In this case, Australia. So if we scroll down here, I can see the names of everybody from the different countries. And then in Australia, we can see that Brian Swan was denied access. Well, we weren't expecting this document to be visible in Australia. This was supposed to stay within North America. So that being said, we can look at a couple more things. We can look at the timeline. And the timeline tells us when a document was opened and where it was opened and if it was viewed or denied. Again, green means viewed. The yellowish orange color means it was denied. So let's go ahead and revoke access to this document. So we're going to come down here and select revoke access. Now you notice it tells me that if a recipient has already viewed the file, they're going to continue to be able to view it for up to 30 days after you revoke access. And the reason for that is we didn't select the check mark in the document that said instantly revoke access. So I'll hit confirm. So I've now revoked access to that document and the user will no longer be able to view it. And that's the power of Azure Rights Management Protection.